In this video tutorial of ropes and knots, I'm going to show you the overhand safety knot. The overhand safety knot is the most common knot in the world. Why? Because if you don't know how to tie a knot, you're going to tie a lot. Using the running end of the rope, you're going to make one loop. You're going to go through that loop and you're going to pull it tight. Pretty simple there. When you're using it to secure another rope, you're going to have the knot or the object up top. You're going to make one loop. Right? One loop. It's going to go around the rope. You're going to go through the loop. Pull it tight. You're going to let that cinch up against the other knot or the object. And there you go. One safety knot. Or also called the overhand knot. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm going to show you the bowling knot. Number one, world's best. Not in the world. Why? Because it makes a non-cinching, non-constricting knot or loop that you can use to hoist uh, items or make harnesses. How do we make that? Well, I'm going to have that rope around something. I'm going to come up. I'm going to make a loop in the working part of the rope. I'm going to go under and through the loop, around the rope, and back through that loop. I'm going to pull it tight. Right? Now, I did make a little riddle, and you can definitely use it because it really works great. Here we go. Make a loop through the hoop around the tree and back through the pea. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm gonna show you the clove hitch and the half hitch. We use these to hoist or carry axes, pike poles, any of that sort. So you would use the clove hitch up towards the head or the uh, pike portion of the pike pole. Um, we make two loops. Easiest way to do that is the overhand, underhand technique. Turn naturally with both hands, right? Bring those loops together and it makes a pretzel. And that's what you're going to put your object through. That's going to go all the way up to the head. As you can see here, this is going to go all the way up to the head of the axe, and you've got this running end, right? So, got the axe in there, got the clove hitch. I'm going to make a half hitch. You just make a loop, put it through, pull it tight. Make a loop, put it through, pull it tight. Then you'll be able to hoist from the opposite end without that object flying all over the place. Thanks for tuning in on the clove hitch and the half hitch. In this episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm going to show you the handcuff knot. Really bad drawing. I will agree. Handcuff knot is pretty much an alteration or modification of the clove hitch. We're going to do our over and under technique. Over and under. Coming through, right? Now as we go to make that clove, we make that pretzel, right? We're going to pull the back part of the clove through and then the other one through the back side and through the front side. Pull it through, makes those loops, right? Now as you put this around someone's hands and you pull down on these, it will cinch in on either your hands or feet. Really great safety um, rescue tool to be able to have in your arsenal. Thanks for tuning in on the handcuff knot. In this episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm going to show you the figure eight knot. If you know how to make a overhand knot, you can make a figure eight knot. Make a loop. Make one more loop. Take the end. Go through that loop. Pull her tight. Figure eight knot. Thanks for tuning in. This episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm going to show you a figure eight on a bite. We're going to take our rope that's got the bite in it. Bend it across. Okay, so it's away from me, right? I'm going to go around the rope to the front, grab the rope, pull it through. Figure eight on a bite. It is a non cinching, non uh, clinching type of knot. Thanks for tuning in.
In this episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm going to show you the figure eight follow through. Figure eight follow through is a non cinching, non clinching, very probably one of the most secure rope uh, knot, uh, knots that you can make. It does take a little bit of time and caress to get it done, but it's a very good knot to do. So you first need to start with a figure eight. If you don't know how to do a figure eight, revert back to figure eight knot video. Then you're going to have your item that you're trying to grab a hold of or secure. You're going to go around with that working end. Now once you have that working end, you're going to follow through that figure eight you just made. Okay? So I'm, all I'm doing is following the rope back in reverse, right, that I just made. Now, I would want to have a little bit extra here for a safety knot or a overhand knot, but uh, you guys get the point. Got that figure eight follow through. Thanks for tuning in. This episode of Ropes and Knots, I'm going to show you the Beckett bend or the sheet bend. We use sheet bend or the Beckett bend to combine two ropes of equal or different uh, diameters or maybe a rope and a chain. So we'll have our rope number one, say it's our chain or our thick rope, and we're going to make a bend here, right? Then with our other rope, we're going to go up and over that rope, right? I'm just going to go through that loop. We're going to go down and around and then right there if you see here's the rope I just went through the loop we'll go down and around and then through that loop I just made okay so here's the back here's the front and we cinch those together okay really good rope uh, good knot um, and then you can put a safety on both ends. Back again. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode of Ropes and Knots, we're going to learn the water knot. Water knot is used to combine two ropes together of usually the same length, or excuse me, the same diameter, or maybe even some webbing. All right. So typically, you would see this when you're trying to combine webbing together this way, not just making a knot this way. It's much better, more secure that way. So we're going to make one simple overhand knot. Yes? Okay. Now, what we want to do, it's going to lay nice and flat. Okay? We want it to lay flat. We're going to take the other side of the webbing or another piece of webbing that you're combining them with, and you're going to follow through that Not right? So I'm going around and I'm just following through just like the other one, right? So now when I pull that tight, it's going to make a nice cinched knot. Now what you can do is you can put a couple uh, safeties on both ends. Solid. Thanks for tuning in.